Gobi has been making incredible LED floor lamps for a few years now, and they just launched the new Floor Lamp Pro, and it's bigger and brighter than ever, and it even features a built-in Bluetooth speaker. This lamp is huge. The whole thing measures about 5 foot 8 inches tall, and the light strip alone measures 59 inches long. So it's bigger than any of the other floor lamps, and I even noticed that the whole extrusion is bigger than any of the other ones as well. Whenever you look at the lamp, you will notice that the base has a diameter of about 6 inches, so it can fit just about everywhere. And what's cool about this lamp is it's fully RGB ICWW, which means that it has red, green, blue, cool white, and warm white LEDs. So this allows you to completely customize the color temperature and the color of the light. And all the different zones are individual as well, so you can have really smooth gradients from one color to the next, kind of like you see behind me as well. And the light has a bunch of built-in color temperature scenes, and you can go all the way from 2500 kelvins all the way up to 6500 kelvins. This is way brighter than the original Govi Lyra, and it's even more bright than the Floor Lamp 2 is as well. Another really great feature about this lamp is the bottom also has separate LED zones as well. So it has this ring of LEDs around the bottom, and that looks really cool to have a little bit of light that's spilled onto the floor as well. What I like about this is you can actually control it separately from the main LED strip as well. The gradients on this lamp also look great, and I also noticed that you're able to rotate the tube about 300 degrees as well, so you're able to easily adjust the angle that the light is pointed at. And I also noticed whenever you look up close at the LEDs, it goes very smoothly from one to the next, especially in comparison to the other ones that I've seen in the past. Another great thing about this lamp is it's Wi-Fi compatible, so you can control whatever the different scenes are set to, adjust all the different color, do so many different things on it all by using the Gobi app. And it does use Wi-Fi, and they also give you a physical remote as well that you're able to do some of the basic functions like adjusting your brightness, color temperature, and going through the different presets of colors. And you can even activate the music activated modes on it as well. So there's a couple different scenes that will just react to the sound that the lamp hears. So this makes it really fun to use the speaker and then use that as well. So you can do pretty much anything through the Govi app, but I have found that the app is kind of clunky to get through, although it has all the customization in the world. You're just going to need to spend a lot of time with the app in order to get used to all the different things that you can do with it. You can integrate it with Amazon Alexa or Google Home. And Govi has also stated to a couple people that there's going to be Matter support available on this light, but it's not available at this time of shooting the video in early 2024. But this is going to be really sweet if they enable this light to work with Matter because then you can use it with Apple HomeKit or any smart home system that you want as well. So you don't have to have a hub to use this light, but if you want to use it with some of Govi's other features like DreamView and being able to sync it up with your TV or other content, you are going to need either the sync box or a DreamView camera, which I haven't messed with DreamView before, so there's going to be better videos to watch if you're really interested in syncing this light up with your TV content. Now, when you do get this lamp, you'll notice there's quite a bit of assembly that's involved. You get the LED strip separate from all the individual sections that build up the lamp. So you're going to have to screw it together. They give you a screwdriver that you need. And you also have to insert the strip as well. I found that the trick for doing this is starting at the top and the bottom and then working your way into the middle and then going from the middle out again. You just continue to adjust until you get the whole strip slotted in. And it's the perfect length, so it's going to fit in perfectly. Once you get the Floor Lamp Pro assembled, it is really easy to set it up with the Govi app. Just get on the Govi app, go to the plus sign and add a device, and it should discover your device automatically. Then you just follow along with the steps on screen and you can quickly set up the Floor Lamp Pro. Then you're going to be able to mess with all the different effects, colors, and settings that Govi gives you when using their app. While we're talking about smart control, I will say Govi gives you the ability to change pretty much any parameter on the light. You can adjust all the different light zones to be different colors, and the light just goes really well when it transitions from one color to another. But I just find the app to be really clunky and annoying to use. It does take quite a bit of work to get used to all the different settings on the Govi app. So you're going to want to spend some time getting familiar with it. But you can set up scenes. You can save different settings with your light if you have a certain color that you like. And you can also sync it up with other lights as well without using DreamView. You can also make your phone a microphone or make the light a microphone to use sound activated modes as well. And there's built in sound activated modes and there's also way more effects and music modes that you can use all through the app. So it's really hard to go through everything that you can do with it because you really just have to play with it yourself in order to get a really good feel for all that you're able to do with this light. I found that the audio quality on this Bluetooth speaker is not bad. It's not amazing though either. So to me, the speaker is kind of just a nice plus that you get to work with. Now, one con of the speaker is it's 
it's just Bluetooth, so you can't actually pair more than one light together if you want to have multiple speakers playing. So you're going to be stuck with using just one speaker on one light. So this is really just an added bonus, and I feel like this would be better to use in a kid's room for a speaker than if you wanted to really integrate it in with your smart home. Also, they do give you a bunch of different white noise settings that you can use, and you can activate these through your app or through the remote that they give you as well. I just found the white noise sounds to be kind of cheesy. It's more of like a background noise and less of an actual straight up white noise that you would find on a white noise speaker. So I think that most people are not really gonna like the white noise. You're probably gonna wanna put your own white noise through it as well. First major con I did notice with this light is that the light isn't super stable on carpet. It just feels like the lamp doesn't weigh as much as it should and that it needs to have a little bit more of a hefty feel to it. That way it'll be leveled out on a carpet floor. But some people may have better luck than I've had with it. I've not had much luck with getting anything to be level on the carpet I have in my office. The Floor Lamp Pro looks really nice. It is available in both black and gray, and I'm really happy with the quality of the light that I'm getting out of this light. Just adds such a great mood and ambience to my office. And I found everywhere where I've tested this light out, there is so much brightness available with the 2100 lumens that this light puts out. So is the Govi Floor Lamp Pro worth it? I think it kind of depends on who you ask. This light retails for $220 and you can often find it on sale. I think that this light is so much bigger than any of the other ones and it looks really unique. And it's also cool that they put the Bluetooth speaker in it. But I find myself wondering if the extra size and the speaker are worth it or if most people should look into the new Govi Floor Lamp 2 instead. Now, when you compare this lamp to the Lyra or the original basic floor lamp, this light absolutely destroys both of those in terms of appearance, light output, and features, but it has almost all the same features of the Floor Lamp 2. Basically, the main difference between the Floor Lamp Pro and the Floor Lamp 2 is the Floor Lamp 2 is a little bit shorter, it doesn't have a speaker built in, and the base of it has a gloss look instead of a cloth look as well, but it still has that light on the bottom on the Floor Lamp 2 as well, and you'll get to save about $70 to $100 if you choose to buy the Floor Lamp 2 over the Floor Lamp Pro. So I think for most people, the Govi Floor Lamp 2 is a better buy than the Floor Lamp Pro because you will save a little bit of money. Most people who are into smart home ecosystems already have their own individual speakers to play music from. This speaker sounds great on the Floor Lamp Pro, but I don't really feel like connecting my phone to Bluetooth every time I want to use it. I'd much just rather use one of my HomePods and tell it exactly what I want to listen to instead. So overall, the Floor Lamp Pro is a really cool looking, unique, huge light. The speaker sounds good and all the features on it work really well, although it is a little bit clunky through the Govi app. I could see buying the Floor Lamp Pro if you really want a portable Bluetooth speaker with tons of different lighting effects on it because this is going to give you everything you need in one sleek package. But otherwise, you might just want to save a little bit of money and go for the Floor Lamp 2 instead. It's not going to be quite as big or quite as bright, but it's going to give you a very similar look and pretty much all the same features. Also, one other issue I do have with the Floor Lamp Pro, I love that Govi says that it's going to have matter later on, but I really wish that they had matter enabled on this light from day one because that's such an important feature in today's smart home ecosystems. So at the end of the day, I highly recommend the Floor Lamp Pro for anyone who's looking for a huge LED floor lamp with the built-in speaker and a slim design and a narrow base. This just does a great job at adding a lot of color, whether you're using a color or you're using white light. You can go through all the different color temperatures of white light, whether it's warm or cool. It looks great for doing any sort of indirect lighting. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in buying the Floor Lamp Pro, I do have links in the description below. If you have any other questions about this light, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. Be sure to check out my review of the Govi Floor Lamp 2 and also a comparison video I'm going to have between the Floor Lamp Pro and the Floor Lamp 2.